and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about apparent magnitude. Now, a, this is a way of classifying stars based on how bright they look. Apparent magnitude, okay, so apparent magnitude is the brightness, is a categorization of brightness that we have classified it from seeing from Earth. So it's the brightness of a star as seen on Earth. And where this has come from is a Greek astronomer called Hippocrates. Hippocrates. There's lots of ways of pronouncing his name. I've seen very bread and I do apologise if I pronounced it wrong. But he was a Greek astronomer that labelled the stars in the sky from one being the brightest to six being the dimmest, okay? So he said one was the brightest and six was the dimmest, okay? So he said the closer to zero it is, the brighter it is. Now, the little problem with that, of course, is in Grecian times, the sun was not a star. It was drawn by Apollo and put in a chariot over the sky, which kind of screwed us up the minute we went, worked out the apparent magnitude of the sun, which happened to be minus 27. But his theory still stands, and we still use this today, this idea of apparent magnitude. And the important thing you need to know about apparent magnitude is this idea, it's the brightness of a star as seen by Earth. Now, there actually is, quite cleverly, a scale, and this is done by Pogson's Law. You do not need to know Pogson's Law at all. But if I go from one, two, three, four, five, and six, I know every time I go down or dimmer, I am getting dimmer by two and a half times. So if I was going this way, it would be two and a half times dimmer and another two and a half times dimmer, and another, and another, and another. And you can imagine here, okay? So I have to go one, two, three, four, five times to go from a classic, classif classification one star to a classification six star. So 2.5 to the power of five is 97.7 times dimmer. So the one other thing you need to know about apparent magnitude is that a, a one star is a hundred times brighter than a six. So this is a very archaic way of actually labeling and classifying the stars. And it was the most initial way of doing it. How bright are they on Earth? Now, the problem with apparent magnitude is that some stars may seem really, really dim. And it's not because they're a small star, it's because they're really far away. Much like our sun, which has got a scale of minus 27 on the apparent magnitude scale, is actually not that big a star. But because it's like next door, it looks really, really bright. Which will bring us to our next video, which is absolute magnitude.